Hello everyone, man Thrall here. Welcome back to another RS3 weekly update video. Now it's Tuesday, but this is when the uh, actual release was. Uh, it was a little confusing with Monday, but they did release the build uh, fire or well, fair yesterday, which if you guys haven't seen, I do have a video on that. What to expect? It's pretty simple though. It's only a three-minute video, uh, but this one they released the new achievement system um, so we're going to go through it there is a path system there's a new types of path system you got the new adventurer which it'll show you different things you can do um, within your new adventurer category uh, which is a lot of quests and I mean a lot of quests and there's also the new combatant which will show you a lot more stuff that you can go through you got the God Wars dungeon uh, it'll show you different things that you should go through uh, this way. Uh, you got the Mighty Fall version, which if you're not sure what the Mighty Fall version would be, is that the Mighty Fall quest, uh, you got to do that in order to actually get the Mighty Fall teleport, which will teleport you straight to the area. You got a Lunar Spellbook, Task Set, Ancient Spells, Ancient Curses, the Elven City, and bossing so that is the different paths you can follow but also you can go into achievements and then you also have different uh, separations this way as well so there is different achievements for you as you go and progress through your levels which usually about every 10 levels is something new as is uh, so there is that uh, and it even shows you the ones that you have already have completed uh, different areas uh, Just like before you know each one has their own uh, we'll click on Lumbridge as you can see there's Pretty well all the same stuff there might be a few new ones here and there But it's not supposed to affect your actual achievement task set um, Now see I didn't really do much of these Because uh, well, I just had no point to do them yet. Well, I do but it's just not where my goal okay so there is solo pvm group pvm and raids and general stuff you can go through as well there's also completionist which tells you your progress for each one it'll actually tell you which ones you need to actually complete yet too uh the ones you can and cannot actually complete now you can pin stuff you can change the setup but as you can see, the ones that are probably in red, you can't quite do yet. You have to do the other stuff before it. Uh, so, do keep in mind that's what's going for there. You also have your trimmed one, and you also have your master quest gate. So there is a few different things as well there. And you got your achievement tracker, which will go over and show you different things within the tracker. So it's actually, it's a lot more user friendly. Uh, things are laid out a lot more easier. Uh, you have your recent completed. You have stuff you can pin and target. Um, so that's actually it for the update. Uh, but now we'll go over to the page itself and show you guys a little bit more into this area. So we went over the new achievement test set, uh, but now there's this just patch notes. Uh, there is future feats that are coming, which is what I was saying about new system. Um, there's going to be new stuff. There's also going to be stuff coming with Metaphos. So keep that in mind. But that, that's actually it for this week's updates. Uh, the live streams this week. At, today at 1600 game time, there is a village rework and spring fair showcase. Um, I will admit the village rework does look pretty good, uh, personally for me. Um, and Sunday at 1800, it's PVM with Mod Lee. And then for the patch notes, we have a few things going on. Uh, so there's skills, D&Ds, and minigames. They're fixed an issue that caused players to automatically continue mining after rock has been depleted. Uh, the cut, uncut Onyx and Onyx Ring still guide entries are now consistent with their actual requirements. Onyx Rings now require... 72 crafting to make in line with the level to cut the gem 
quest challenges and achievements, added the quest cape or well, quest accept screen to Jungle Potion. Jungle Potion no longer requires the Druidic Ritual to quest to be completed, only level 3 Herblor. Jungle Potion's Herblor XP has been converted to an XP lamp. Add a blue box highlighting and have tidied up the quest journal, dialogue, and in interactions of the Jungle Potion. Other, Nexus Ice Prison Attack no longer deals damage after death. Joining a new Nexus Angel of Death instance as the boss dies no longer wards loot. Next Angel of Death Reavers will no longer damage those outside the arena if not dealt with. A typo in the buff bar filtering icon uh, interface has been removed or fixed. Buff bar filtering has been inverted and the interface by default by default all icons now show up when the checkboxes are unticked. Ticking the relevant category checkbox will hide the relevant icons. Activating Berserk Blood Essence will now display a cooldown buff icon. Next Angel of Death cur Curses will now be filtered by the buff bar's prayer category instead of the overhead prayer category. Clan Avatar buff icons are now filtered by the scaling buff bar category instead of the boost category. All interface presets now correctly save the position of the debuff bar. The tracker used on the defense decrease buff icon when hitting monsters has been capped to 10. Players will no longer see debilitate buff icon if it happens to miss an enemy. Players will now see debilitate buff debuff icon after being hit with it in PvP with it. When using tor torment, turmoil, or anguish and draining the enemy, Players will now see only one icon on the monster's information bar instead of three for each of the curse, saving space for more combat icons to fill gaps. The buff icon timer for Dreadnymphs now counts down correctly. And last hot, last week's hot fixes: fix an issue with performing melee special attacks for no adrenaline cost. Corrected a corrected a check that was given some players. No reward when auto redeem XP on the first prize won on Rainbows and Rainbows and promotion. Returning the prizes lost due to above bug and added messaging telling players about the reward placed in their bank. Uh, the cold fix: they re content changes, re added minimize maximize button and onto the action bar in EOC mode. Fix the size of revolution highlight on the action bar. The Profitness Holiday Portal will now directly direct players to the Easter event. The Wise Perk status icon now displays an accurate percentage. The Reflect icon once again displays a timer. The login message for Rune or Lunar Spheres will now only appear if the player has been logged out for over 5 minutes. The Annex T client changes fix the crash primarily during cache download but also randomly. Fixed cache download randomly stopping or losing connection. Fixed crash and disk cache. Restored standard OSX full screen button. Uh, removed broken in game full screen option on OSX. Fixed the boopy noise when typing certain keys in OSX. Entering caves and instances will no longer remove terrain blending options. Added the ability to start NXT from the client executable executable fixes issues when having two taskbar icons fix an issue with indefinite loading black screen on login and scenery not loading so that is it for this week's updates and that is it for uh the patch notes so thank you guys so much for watching until next time later guys